hit him. Yeah, uh, it seemed like you had a really hard time getting in on uh, on his projectiles. Yeah, it was very hard. Um, and then I tried to counter pick with Ridley. It was going good at first, but then I lost my stock at like 26% uh, from an edge guard. Terrible. <laughs> yeah, Ridley's recovery is not the greatest. Yeah. But who is this? I believe it's J Fox versus. No, no, no. J, J Fox is black. J Fox is black? Okay. Yeah. They're all the same. <laughs> huh? No, it's not. No, that's not Mom's Cookie. Like, I'm really lost as to who this is, but. Yeah, I don't know who this is. Beard Box. Beard Box. Who's playing? Legendary J. I've okay, so we have Legendary J versus Snickledorf, Pichu. I've never heard of this guy. Let's see how he does. Yeah, I've never seen this matchup before, but um, it's going to be very dynamic because it's very hard for each them to combo each other. They they have to get in on each other, and that's going to be very interesting to see. I feel like Pichu could combo like anyone. It's probably going to lead into some damage. Oh, never mind. Yeah, yeah. That sent really far for like 20. It's very interesting to watch how Snickledorf plays neutral with Game & Watch's new fair because... Yeah. Like it's it's sort of a projectile, but it's not. It's e it, it gets beaten out by anything. But Snickledorf is oh. definitely making do with what he has. Yeah, it's fresh down smash. Either way, if he buried him, that would have led into a kill for sure. Yeah, Pichu being the lightest character in the game. Okay, nice F smash coming from yeah. Pichu. Can Very he get an edge guard? It's very hard to edge guard. Game and watch. Oh, Ooh, nice I recovery mix up dead. coming from Snickledorf. Okay, good fair. Snickledorf has a very unorthodox playstyle, which makes his Game & Watch, like, it's very hard it to adapt even, to what he does. even weirder than others. Exactly. Like, you want to learn the matchup, but you're also fighting Snickledorf at the same time. And he keeps fishing for down smashes, and he does, died for yeah, it. Yeah, does not get the down smash. Ends up dying relatively early, but it's Game & Watch. Attempts yeah. to get the down smash read, does not get it. The reset's neutral. Okay, nice fair coming from Snickledore. Oh, I did not know side tilt hits below the ledge. That was... I didn't know either. Very nice two frame. Good spacing. We should hang out with him sometime. Is the jab going to kill? No way. Wow, that jab killed. is very strong. I was not even aware that was is a that, thing. Is that Wendy? Now Snickledorf is opting to play offensively now from his original defensive uh, strategy. Yeah, he's definitely trying to milk this lead. Okay, nice down throw forward here, solid damage. Pichu is definitely able to kill though. Going for the edge guard, nice. Oh, uh, down smash, down smash, oh, F smash, smash, F smash. take it. it. Down smash is heavily buffed in this game, it's really good. Yeah, a berry, a Strong barrier at that. That's actually what took Pandarian out of winners, I believe. It was down smash yeah, on Charizard. It, it yeah. was down smash into, into a forward smash. It was pretty crazy. Yeah, it's crazy. And he mashed quickly. Well, it was actually against um, Krom. He played Krom game two. Oh, he played Krom? Yeah. Okay. He started with um, Pokemon Trainer, and then he lost. Yeah. So then he switched. That was a good set. A really good set. I kind of want to get to play with some of the better, like the topper top players like uh, Kila and uh, Smash Bros. fan. Yeah, I recently got to play against Kila. I mean, I just lost to JoJo, but I played Kila. Um, very, I think you were there, actually. It was very good. Oh, shut up. I, took, <laughs> I literally gave you a ride. Yeah, it was a very good set, though. It was very dynamic. Yeah, extremely close. It was a nail-biter, but yeah, you did end up taking it over him. Okay, so back to the match. We have relatively even game. Yeah, uh, what's it called? Game and Watch is up there very strong in this game with because it's just a projectile. Yeah, it's oh, oh almost sh good shield pressure. That was a real, that was really good shield. Pichu pressure. will not be shielding anytime soon, so he should take advantage of that. Oh, interesting trade. I couldn't even tell what moves those were. Good spacing coming from Snickledorf. He does not get the F tilt. Any edge guard? Oh, nice two frame from the jab. Um, so he is most definitely at kill percent, so a forward tilt, yeah, okay. He's he's definitely spacing for it. That was really good patience and walking coming from. Forward tilt. Get up, forward, forward tilt. Forward smash will definitely do it. Um, I feel like getting off the ledge against Game & Watch is relatively easy um, if you outweigh your options because up smash is not that good anymore. 
Uh, up air is not really a kill move. So if he wants to do that, he can really abuse that. If Snickledorf makes it to like winners finals, that'd be pretty crazy. Yeah, Game and Watch. Game and Watch. Game dude. and Watch is already really far in the top eight where you have players like What was that? Up throw or four? Th I think that was down throw. Yo, I I don't even know. I, you can't tell by they, looking. They all t they all look the same. I I'm sure there's small differences that Game and Watch mains, mains no, yeah. know. Like I I used to play Game and Watch in Melee. But like their throw animations look different, and they do different things that they did then. So I don't yeah. really know. Also, Game, Game Watch, Watch was garbage in yeah. melee. Oh wow! Okay. Okay, so we have Legendary J. Um, he's not playing neutral too bad around. He has the advantage. His aggression is really paying off. Punishes down smash. Gets a decent punish off of it. Uh, oh, and Bucket kills him so wow, early. So wow. Early. Definitely taking advantage of the um, of the lightweight. Nice retreat to get the offstage pressure going. Good two-frame down smash that coming from amazing. Legendary J. Okay, this is actually really close. This is really even. But this still is best of three. So if Snickle Dwarf wins this, it's over. Four throw, four there. Okay, let's see if we can keep him off stage. I like seeing options like that now. Like, people air dart onto ledge and stuff like that. I think it's a very, like, it's new. It's, it's, it's something a, that it's a lot a of nice people don't do. It's a way to mix up your options to get uh, backstage. Yeah. Or back on stage. Ooh. Oh, he almost buried him. That would have been he bad. He needs to be careful about that shield. Yeah, he can literally just do anything. Yeah. Oh, whoa. That almost, almost killing killed. super early. He was at 54 before the hit. Oh, oh, and catches the jump from the ledge. Good Dorf games coming from Snickledorf. That was really good. Oh, it was funny when Snickledorf almost lost a game to that little Mac. Oh, yeah, that was a very funny set. I was that on 